It's time for acorns. Are you as excited as I am to do these today? I hope you got everything traced out and you're ready to go. I want to say sorry for the wobbly camera here at the beginning. I think one of my kids must have knocked it as they walked by while I was doing this tutorial, but it will work itself out. So just let's just paint and um, hopefully the wobbling will stop soon. <laughs> okay, so we are starting with our middle acorn. And I'm just using burnt sienna and filling that in using a number six brush. Um, you can use the six brush or just any round brush really at this point um, will work on this acorn. Now I'm just adding water to get a lighter burnt sienna brown color. And I'm going to just fill that in to my acorns there at the bottom. I love acorns. They, they come in so many different shapes and sizes. They're so cool. I'm sure you've probably read a lot about them if you're a member of the Nature's Art Club. Um, this month, there's some pretty cool facts about acorns. Uh, I would love to hear anything else that you have learned about acorns. Maybe you went out and discovered some of your own in your yard or at the park. Okay, then we're just gonna fill in the top part of this and then we're going to the very top of our picture with these beautiful little acorns. Now these ones, I'm just doing the top with the brown and then I'm gonna bring in some of our sap green. And I'm just gonna get those colored in with the green, just a nice light color of green there. Mostly water. Okay, so now I am just going to get some of my burnt umber, which is that darker brown. I'm going to mix it with some of the burnt sienna that I already had on my palette. And I'm going to come in and do the top part of this acorn, and I'm just going to focus on shadows. I'm looking at my um, my picture there at the top, which comes with Nature's Art Club. So print that out if you haven't already. And I'm just looking at where I want my lights and my darks to be. And I'm adding a little bit of that darker brown. Doing the same on my acorns there at the bottom. Just kind of blocking in where my dark, darker browns are going to be. And now I'm coming just there at the base of my middle acorn and I'm just bringing in some shadow. I decided I want the middle part to be lighter so I'm just adding water there and dry it off my brush so that it lifts up some of that that water so that I can move it around a little bit better and gives me some nice um, highlights there. Okay, and then I'm gonna bring in some more, some darker areas there at the bottom. And then same thing at the top here, just bringing in some shadow, some darker browns. So what I'm doing right now is called layering. So I'm just doing a little layer upon layer, excuse me, of, um, of browns. And I'll just go darker and darker 
in some areas and then just leave some areas alone. Um, those areas that I want to stay lighter will be, I'll just leave those alone. Okay, going in with some more of that burnt umber and burnt sienna mix. And now I'm going to add some shadows to my long acorns there at the bottom. I love adding shadow because it just, it feels more dramatic and it really makes the picture pop. Just a little bit of brown there over the green. I'm going to work that out a little bit with some water in the future here, but I'm just going to add a little bit there to it. Okay, and now I'm coming in with just a clean brush, and I'm moving the brown around so that green is still the main color, but it's got some brown in the shadows and the accents on those on those acorns. Okay, back to the middle. I'm going to move this paint around again a little bit and establish that highlight. And now I'm going back down to the bottom and I'm just making those lines not so dramatic. And just making them subtle. They're there, but they're more subtle. Okay, I'm just moving it around a little bit with my wet brush. And now I'm just doing pure burnt umber to establish my shadows on those darker areas. That's what I love about watercolor is that you, you start light and you go darker. So um, you can just kind of build up your shadows over layer after layer. You build them up slowly. Just, I don't know, for some reason I like that better than the opposite way where you, you know, with acrylic you would, you would add the highlights later. But with watercolor you kind of start out that way and then you just add the darkness where it needs to go. Okay, I'm doing the same thing here on my middle acorn. I want to add some nice texture to the top of that acorn. So I'm just kind of putting little dots of color throughout and then coming in and establishing those shadows. Put another layer of the burnt ember. And the same thing as the top. Okay, we're almost finished. I'm just going to add a little bit, another layer here of that sap green to my acorns. Just gives it a little more depth of color. And just really makes them look really realistic with that little bit of green on them. Okay, we're getting near the end. I'm just adding a little bit more detail here and then we're done with the painting. We can move on to outlining, which is what I'm doing here. That's completely optional. I love to outline mine just because that's my style and I think it makes the colors pop. But if you like it the way it is right now, you can be done. Either way, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and that you have a wonderful November and a wonderful Thanksgiving. And we'll see you next time. Bye.